HLS Show Me How, embedding Yammer Live Events and Microsoft Teams Live Events in SharePoint. Hi, I'm your host, Michael Gennady, and I'm a Microsoft Teams Technology Specialist for the Microsoft Corporation working in our Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. You can always find my colleagues and I over at our blog at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. So the reason for this post is that after I did a post on uh, doing a virtual graduation using Microsoft Teams Live Events, one of the readers of our blog, Hamilcar, commented that it'd be great to know if there were ways of embedding live events from Microsoft 365 that were not generated using Microsoft Stream, instead, ones using maybe Yammer or Teams and be able to have those embeddable in a web page. The idea being that although they were embedding stream ones in a SharePoint page, for example, um, they wanted to have an easier way to produce versus using an external encoder, using something like Microsoft Teams to create the event and to, to generate it, to produce it and you know push that out but they wanted to have their end users ultimately be going to a web page on their intranet a SharePoint page and consuming the content so with that in mind I'm gonna walk you through how you can do that because guess what you can so let's go ahead and take a look all right so as we want to look at how to embed events that are not created in Microsoft Stream. I have here in my demo environment, first of all, a view to Yammer, and we're gonna walk through creating a Yammer event. Um, and when we create that, we're gonna use an external encoder. And you'll see that in fact, we can go ahead with that event and we can then embed that in a site. So let's go ahead, we're gonna come over here to Yammer. You know, we're not doing this in Stream. I'm going to come over here, create a live event, and we have two options, an external app or device or Microsoft Teams. So we're going to select the first one, external app or device. We're going to select next. We'll give it a title and we'll call this our, um, oh, what do we call it? Live event for embed using external encoder. We're being descriptive uh, because I'm not very original and we are at the end of Friday and I'm in need of much coffee. So we'll go ahead. We're gonna take that particular one here and we could set the time. I'm not gonna bother with that. We could put a description. We could add producers, presenters. We don't care about any of that. We just wanna show how we can embed it. So we're gonna go ahead and select schedule. And it's now going to bring us into the view which will appear for our users. Additionally, as the person who set up this event, you can see Start Setup is here. Uh, I could also you know, click to go to it and stream. But I've got all these options right here around this. It's embedded in Yammer, but I want to embed this particular event in um, our share, a SharePoint site. So. With that in mind, here's that crisis management portal that I've shown how to get set up and everything. It's a SharePoint site. We have web parts. We already have an embedded video here. But what we're going to do is use that to demonstrate the how we would actually embed this. By uh, coming here to the right, you'll notice we have event actions, one of which is share. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And notice we have two links. This is the Yammer attendee link. There is a stream attendee link. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and bring this back over here. And we're gonna select edit. So we're ready to edit our page now. And let's go ahead, I don't wanna put it right next to the other. We'll, for demo sake, come over here, add a web part. We're gonna go ahead and search for stream. There is stream, we're gonna select that. I don't want all of stream, I want a single video. And we're gonna go ahead and just paste that URL that we were given. As soon as we do so, I want you to notice what we have. 
There is that event. It's been embedded. If I save the page and publish it, once that event starts, it's going to show here and I don't have to have my users go back to Yammer. So I can take that Yammer created one and place it here. We'll go ahead. We're going to delete that web part and we're just going to leave this page in our edit mode because we want to talk about Teams. Now, here is Microsoft Teams and you can see I have a live event that we set up. If I click that open, you'll see we have a link for attendees. We have a join link. Um, number of other pieces right here. There really isn't anything though here that I can use to put. This attendee link would give me the entire view of Teams, not a view uh, like we had with that stream link that we embedded. So I'm gonna close this. And to create one, the really the objective is I want people to go to their homepage, but I want to make it easy to create that event. So guess what? I'm going to come back here to Yammer. Let's go back to my crisis management site and let's create a new live event. This time let's pick teams. What this is going to do is when we set this up, let's give it a name. We'll call this our Yammer Teams Embed Event. There we go. And again, we're just going to go ahead and select Schedule. It's going to give me that same view right here in Yammer. Look at that. But for producing this, for starting this event, notice what it has over here. And my connection, everything's been a little slow, so we'll have to just wait on that. Um, I might refresh the page in a second, but notice here, produce. To start the event, when I click that, it's going to open it up in Microsoft Teams. All right. So it'll open that up in Microsoft. There we go. Open it up in Microsoft Teams and we'll do everything in Teams just as if we were doing a Teams live event. But look at what we have here. Share. And when I click that, ooh, there is that same stream attendee link. So I'm going to click copy. And we're going to come back to this same page. And let's come on back here. Let's go ahead again and search for a stream. There it is. And we're going to pick a single video. We're going to paste that in. And boom. Yammer Teams Embed Event. Just as if we had done it the other way. So, again, two ways to do it. Uh, we can do it with an external encoder in Yammer, but if we want to produce our event in Teams, right, make it easy to produce, but consume it on a SharePoint page, create the event in Yammer. That's our little trick. Create it in Yammer. Then go ahead and grab that stream code like we did here, right, where we said share stream attendee link. That allows me to embed it here in my site, um, but we're going to actually produce it in Teams. Simple and easy. So that's it. I hope you found this useful. A couple little tricks. If you want to embed non-Microsoft Stream created uh, live events and embed them in a page for consumption. You can easily do that. Really, the biggest use case is where people want to produce it using Teams, but they want to embed it in a page. So the little trick is create that event in Yammer with Teams as the encoder. Once you have Teams as the encoder, you're going to do everything like you normally would in Teams. You can, you know, bring other people in, pull other folks in. You're going to share. It's just te a Teams live event from an encoder standpoint, but that event can be embedded. So if you have questions about this or other items around Microsoft Teams, Modern Workplace, etc., feel free to ping me and my colleagues at aka.ms slash HLS blog. You can also find me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com slash IN slash Mike Gennady, on twitter.com at slash Gennady, or on Facebook.com. I have a Facebook page at mgenati. I want to thank you for watching. Take care, and as always, ciao.